Hey guys, Skill on Noodle here. Based on a comment leaving a suggestion, I decided to break down my workflow for creating environments in Blender. If you'd like to see me break down one of your ideas, leave a comment below. Now without wasting any more time, let's get into creating a cyberpunk alley. To start off, I began by blocking out my scene with basic shapes, modeling the street, buildings, and basic features using simple planes and cubes. Don't go too detailed during this stage. Adding too much detail will cause you not to focus on the big picture and will cause you to go too far back to go back on your decisions. Even though I was still early on in the piece, I decided to begin texturing the base models. This allows me to know the direction I will be going with the rest of the assets and textures and know what finer details I will be adding to the buildings. I also modeled some air conditioners as the first assets to add to my scene. They're also probably the easiest assets to create in place since AC units are basically just cubes attached to walls. I started adding some extra details to the buildings using basic modeling and textures. I also extruded inward the window panes, knowing I would want a glossy material to mimic glass. At this point I also went about adding a long rectangular area light to act as the backlight of my scene, as if it were the sky or the glow of the city behind the buildings. At this point I started adding a bunch of assets I downloaded from the Megascans library. In a scene this large and detailed, it can be really time consuming to create every asset yourself so I suggest pulling from a few different sites to get a unique look to your environments. I also used an asset to create a pink fluorescent light, and some air duct textures and a skin modifier to create air ducts. At this point I also used the skin modifier, which allowed me to add thickness to a singular edge or point to create wires. I also tried not to make the wires too organized and render bended inside, I wanted a chaotic and lived-in feel so every mistake had to be on purpose. At this point, I also added some extra detail to the road by subdividing it and adding a displace modifier with a cloud texture. I also wanted some Chinese lanterns in my scene, but knew they would be a hard asset to find. Instead, I used photo projection, where you use an image printed onto a basic mimic of the object you're trying to create. Adding a simple emission material on a hue and saturation node to shift it to pink, I found using a cylinder with some basic modeling did the trick. I started adding some more assets I downloaded to help fill out the scene just a little bit more. Sometimes creating a piece is not a linear job. Sometimes you have to work in one part, take a step back, and work on something else. Jumping around allows me to balance each element in the scene, and prevents me from getting lazy in one specific area. As a final detail to the environment, I created some beams and added some wires to hang above the foreground. I placed my last assets and moved on to adding a character. So I'm not an expert in character creation, so I basically just added a photo scan of a human and some post-apocalypse gear, and added a model of a sci-fi helmet. I placed the character in my scene, and I was ready to composite and finalize my scene. After rendering, I brought the piece into Photoshop, adding some brightness, contrast, and saturation. I also used the dodge and burn tools to brighten and darken specific areas of the picture. After adding my mist and glow layer, blending it on the base composition, I called the piece finished. I hope you learned something from my workflow. If you have any ideas for what I should create next, leave a comment below. If you want more skill on Noodle content, including downloadable assets and scenes, critiques on your artwork, and longer tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope to see you next time.